Greetings, Padawan. We are going to talk about socially engineering yourselves, right? We need to talk about the very first step in social engineering, which is to gather information about the target. You are your own target for this activity. You are going to be surprised and maybe a little disturbed by how much information is on the internet that you did not put on there or that you think you didn't put on there. So, as an ethical hacker, part of the agreement that we always make with clients is that we will not only show them what information is out there or how they've been hacked, but we will also teach them how to protect themselves. And so I'm going to do that with you as we go along. There are companies whose sole job is to collect and distribute information about you, but they are required by law and in some states like California, even stricter laws, they are required to give you a way to opt out. So as we talk about all of these uh, products and programs that are out there to collect information about people that we use, both ethical hackers and non-ethical hackers, the, the products that we use to collect information, I'm going to show you how you can opt out of those products as well. You have to bear with me, I have allergies and they're driving me nuts tonight. So, the article that you were asked to read <clears throat> is how to delete yourself from people search sites. And people search sites are data brokers. They, um, their sole purpose is to go out, collect information about you, and then sell it. Uh, they give you little teasers of, and you can kind of see information about somebody. Um, but to get a full report, you have to pay. They have like a week long plan, which is usually like five or 10 bucks. And then they have longer plans. So for um, actual campaigns, when I actually do this um, in the field, I actually have full subscription to all of these because these are all the tools that I use to find information about my target and then to help the target, um, the client remove that information. So this is like the best article I found. I hate that it has this clickbait on it. Please don't click on any of this stuff because it'll put cookies on your computer. So don't, don't click on anything. The three big um, uh, products that are used are Intellius, which is the mothership for like classmates.com and people look up in public records, been verified, and Spokio. Spokio is actually my favorite of the three, uh, but I use, um, I've used all of these, but those are my top three tools that I've used. And so this article tells you what the tool does, but it also tells you how to remove yourself from each of these tools. It takes about 72 hours for uh, Intellius to remove your information. Been verified, an instant check made happen um, immediately. My life, you actually have to call in, which is a real pain in the butt because you have to call in when they're open. Pipple removes you automatically. Uh, Spokio is hard to get your information out, and Spokio actually points out something, I think in their paperwork somewhere, that you can remove your information from these sites, but they're gathering sites and they're actually using an algorithm. So if your information is somewhere else, it can build a profile up again about you. So you kind of have to do this, sort of like when you change the batteries in your um, in your fire alarms. You have to do this, like, you know, I would do it every, you know, once a year at least. Um, just go through these sites and make sure that your information isn't isn't being collected and shared. Uh, white pages, you know, you just follow all of these different um, these different products that we actually do use. Um, and then I like that at the bottom of this article it actually tells you, you know, tells you where they're getting the information. Guess what, boys and girls, they get it from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you're posting information about yourself. That's where these data brokers are getting information about you, and that's how they're able to share it. So we do searches through Facebook. We do searches through um, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm missing like 100 of them. We go through all the different social media sites, and uh, we try to become your friend, and we try to become friends with your friends so that you make friends with us. We try to... Um, add clubs and groups and things that we know that you're interested in so you're more likely to be friends with us, right? And that's how we get in. So we get in using um, the big the big um, broker sites. We get in through social media. That's how we collect information about you.
Now, the assignment for this is not going to be for you to um, uh, get information about yourself or even to clear up the records about yourself. Uh, that's a personal decision that you have to make. So the assignment really is about whether or not you are going going to remove your information from these um, these mega sites, um, and if you're going to follow the policy um, restrict your privacy on Facebook to limit what information people have about you. So it's more of an opinion based than an actual task task based. But this, these are the tools that we use to find information out about you, information that you've posted. And there is nothing illegal in getting information that you've posted online because you've posted it out there for other people to view. So even though you've restricted it, it can still be gotten and it's still legal to get it. So that's step one is removing yourself from the mega sites. Next, we're going to talk about how to get your background check. So who can get your background? Who can get your financial information? Well, as you may know, there are three credit agencies that can get your information. You have done nothing to give them permission. One of them was hacked um, a few years ago called Equi Equifax. They were hacked and they had uh, no legal accountability for that hack on you for information that you did not provide to them. But if you want to buy a car or you want to buy a house, they check your credit on these three credit agencies. And um, if somebody steals your credit card and runs up a credit card and or puts a credit card in your name that you've never known about, um, you know, your credit will get the hit for it and you may not even know that it's there. So um, this information is very, very useful and you would definitely want to read it. And I'm going to let you do that, what it does and how it works. Um, but what you want to pay attention to is the annual credit reporting site, um, which you can run once a year to actually check your credit for free check with the three agencies, check your credit, and then you can make corrections and there's uh, directions on how to correct, um, how to correct uh, false reporting. All right, so it talks about employing screening and um, <clears throat> um, your employer may or may not use um, some of these, um, some of these agencies. We can use them as ethical hackers. We can contract with them to get information and um, and then it just talks a little bit about the law and what uh, tenants, um, what their rights are, and what landlords, what rights they have. And, and then there's information about insurance and personal property and medical utility reports. Right. So remember, we talked about ripping things up and shredding things. Your trash is available and open to others because you've thrown it away. So I can get your PPNL account number, and that's a way in that I can find information out about you uh, by starting with that, with that account number, and then going through, and I can go through and get your credit card information, your address, who lives in your house. I can get all kinds of information um, when you don't shred your trash and with anything with identifiable information on it. So um, this is a very interesting um, report for you to read. And you can see everything that is available to others out there. So we're back here at Trusty Old Blackboard uh, just to kind of wrap up what we talked about in this um, segment. A lot of information is out on the web about you. You have some tools now in your toolkit to remove that information. But remember, the web is archived a million times a minute. So your information is still out there in places that you don't know. And those mega sites can recollect the information and uh, build a new profile about you. So you want to clear up, um, you want to check and clear out uh, at least once a year, more often than that, if, if you're concerned. Um, there's a lot of information available about you that you have given away by either throwing it in your trash without trading it or by posting things on Facebook, uh, by becoming friends with people who uh, may not be your friends. And um, so, A, be careful what you post, and B, know what your rights are, and C, know how to clean up after yourself if you find that you have a robust online presence that you aren't aware of. So, Padawan, this is the end of segment one. Uh, the next little bit will be your assignment that goes along with this information, and if you have any questions, just reach out. Peace.